hello dear friends uh, uh, today i will show you my build of uh, the build i am using for sago awaken this build was um, was um, first uh, shown me in disc in the uh, iron saga discord so thank you thank you for the, for the guide i recommend this build, build me build to me uh, it's really helping me out thank you very much for that and please join the um, iron saga discord for, for for anyone who is new new to the game we are they are very friendly and will help you out because they are you know vet, there are a lot of veterans there and people who play professionally they know this stuff there so please join discord and let's uh, get on to the Sago show of my build uh, this is my first build uh, this is this is a build that was shown to me uh, in the discord uh, the co-pilot is Leo. Uh, I'm using his, using his uh, uh, special ability called uh, Showdown. You, you can read uh, read the description in on the screen. It's it's a good it's a good uh, good one. Anti blast or more more damage reduction, and he repair call whenever he uses his AS, uh, which gives more tightness plus tilted armor. It's, this is not for DPS uh, for uh, burst damage that much, but it does give a good much, a good amount of burst damage to deal a good amount of damage. So it can act a tank and burst give a, a, a huge amount of damage as well. Uh, damage as well. So uh, it's an overall good build. Highly recommend it. But they will be more. Uh, more good builds out there but I don't know but then I will try out and show the value of them. Like the burst damage is like 4 the burst damage is like 4 and like 4 and like 4 and like 4 This is more towards a um, uh, dankness rather than DPS so it is burst damage mostly. Plus, uh, when when you get to the top, it changes from being a long map to a melee oriented map. But still, it has been in a lot of uh, a lot of uh, zones and such. So it's a mix of both, but mostly it's, it's really uh, melee oriented. But uh, the second retrofit will make it, which will make it. Uh, a more melee mech because of the biggest biggest sword it will get there in the next I think it, it, it will come on chapter 41 so we have to wait till it comes until then let's check out how we do it <laughs> don't know I need only have one open please don't, don't judge me I'm Grab is really fun to see when you grab it. Move around the area. It's really fun to watch it. More for my Sago for a PvP. PvP build. Give me a second. This is more towards a uh, damage one. I don't have that. Okay. Oh, then I just didn't change it. You can see here the damage will be a lot more than the usual because of the 
mega weapon shell and the um, elemental shell. Unfortunately, I don't have the prism the, 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 the prism game, the prism game and the armor game. So only one day, I can do the skills. So one day. Uh, I'm actually uh, uh, to play player, so it's going to take a while for me to get them. Hopefully, I will get them and I will show them in the future video. I'm gonna change it from the from the from the to uh, anti blast so just to see uh, the difference. Let's see, give me a game. Let me. So, 
thank you for watching this video hope you liked it then please <laughs> leave, leave like and comment as well and maybe next time i will showcase uh sago awakened uh, bill for pvp poster poster or even the campaign uh even the campaign story if if you like so have a nice day all